Turn up the place, turn up the place and make them all have fun How we a blaze the fire, make it fun Hey guys, Perry here, and I'm going to show you how to actually um, do like glitches like this where you get out of the map in Dead Trigger. And so, uh, this is an over like commentary. So, right now, I'm just showing you the screen how much money I have. Um, it allows you to get lots of money, uh, rank up really fast, and you can get out of the map on almost any map in Dead Trigger, such as the arena. I don't know what I was doing there. Uh, it's most important in the arena, so I'm going to go to Bloody Subway and Stadium of, of Dead in this video, as so those two are the easiest. And uh, the trick here is, since there's no jumping or anything, what you have to do is use the uh, a, a body of a zombie to walk onto, and then you walk over a barrier. And sometimes the barriers are too tall, like these ones are in this video here. Those barriers are too tall, so the issue is you need to get right in between um, where they meet. You see there's little like little cracks in there. Um, so what you need to do is shoot the zombies legs from a little far away so they'll go down get rid of some zombies around you so they don't hurt you while you're trying to do your glitch here make him go right past that um, this is a uh, bloody subway by the way if I haven't said that make that the that crawling zombie coming from the left go right past that little uh, thing there as you see and then hold forward and out and then you go um, out of the map and then you can stay in there and you won't get hurt and you can reload collect all the infinite or the the more ammo so you can uh, continue to uh, basically go infinitely and uh, it, it does take practice so um, and I'm not the best at explaining things so basically what you have to do to get on the zombie you go you like move your cursor around the zombie you go around, make sure he's facing like backwards, and then you go on top of him from there, and then push forward over the barrier. It does take practice, so don't get frustrated. Don't don't tell me that this doesn't work. So <laughs> because it does, and it, it, it did take me a lot of practice. So here's the next map. This is Stadium of Dead. Um, Stadium of Dead map. Yeah. So it's just loading here. The Stadium of Dead, in my opinion, is a lot easier. I was just having difficulty because I was recording, and I don't know. I just always have more difficulty when I'm recording. And surprisingly, there's very little, very, very little lag. Um, I guess Minecraft somehow takes more RAM than, like, a 3D graphics highlighting game. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. So I was just trying to kill that guy. I think... Uh, I think I went for that guy, but if he does come to... The zombie comes from your right and goes over the little jump things, uh, that's alright, too. Ooh. Ooh. What am I doing? <laughs> so make sure he gets right to the corner. So how you do that is you kill him or um, make him go down from far away and then walk on the opposite side of the barriers and make sure he goes in the corner. As you see, I was struggling to get around him as the zombies were in the way. Um, I end up moving away. So um, moving away so the zombie can go up against the barrier because it needs to be right up against the barrier. You used to not, you used to not have to do that. So then I walk behind a bear like a farther barrier so he tracks me at an angle and I don't know what I was doing there I think I was just showing off because I'm amazing at this game so then I just go on the zombie as you see he's kind of in the barrier's feet and then I push forward as I go around him once I'm on top of the zombie and I'm out yep and I didn't uh there's like places where you're invincible I thought I was invincible here <laughs> it kind of scared me I was like oh crap so like right here you're invincible uh, no zombies can get to you. If you go too far away from the zombies, they just freeze. Like, it's really cool. Right here, you're invincible, which is the spot I always use. You can just stand there. Sadly, you can't get any of the perks. Um, that's probably the only sad thing here. But if you would like to see more uh, more glitches in different apps and stuff, popular apps, because um, I need more content and more interesting content as my older content, uh, not older, but like previous content has been very crappy, very, very bad content, um, very lazy so, um, any suggestions, um, any, anything you want to see, uh, go ahead. Like, there was a money glitch. I cannot show you it anymore because it has been patched. And luckily, I did get, uh, all the money. There is another glitch, though. It's in the casino. Um, I may show you that. There's Minecraft glitches. There's a lot of different videos I could make. I just don't know if you guys like them or not because uh, a lot of comments are like, uh, don't, don't show these crap videos. Uh, I want to see your original, original, like, glitches and hacks, and, um, the thing is, with Emi for iOS, uh, I can't make any more videos, there's more, no more videos to make, so, that's what people want, I'm, it's not really, I'm just customizing the control layout, um, these, it, this is an over-commentary, so, um, 
not focused on anything. Um, I mean, I could make videos on, like, apps and stuff, which actually really would be kind of cool, like, how to get G Game Boy, GBA working, like, faster, stuff like that. Um, can't get the Nintendo DS one working faster, though, sadly. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, tell me some suggestions on what you want to see. Hope, hope you guys enjoy. See you guys later. Bye.